everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. I am so grateful. Today I have some really cute crafts to share with you. This first craft, I took a mat that I got from Christmas Tree Store and I took this canvas that I got from Five Below. And right now I'm going to take my staple remover and start removing the staples. So now I'm taking the canvas uh, wood frame part of it and then I'm going to be using the paint from Apple Barrel. It's called Dark Granite. It's very pretty. It's um, something new I've never tried before. It's kind of between a light gray and a little bit of black. It's really nice. So I'm just going to give one coat to the frame. So now I'm going to take some um, Apple Barrel paint, black paint, and I'm just going to paint the outside rim of the canvas because that's all I need to paint. Once the uh, mat I apply over it, it's just going to show the outside corners of it. So I got these canvases from Five Below. There were two for five dollars in case you're wondering. So now the paint's dry on the canvas and I'm just lining it up on the uh, frame and then I'm going to start using staples with my staple gun. Now I'm going to take the mat and I'm going to place it inside the uh, frame and I'm going to take some hot glue and um, apply the back of the, the mat. And this is what it looks like when it's put together. It came out really cute. So now I'm taking this ribbon that I got from Dollar General and I'm just gonna make a quick little bow and then I'm gonna hot glue it to the front of the frame. And then I'm gonna take one of my uh, white pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to place that as well in the middle with a little bit of hot glue. This is such a cute idea. You could take any type of mat and put it in some type of frame. And the cost is so inexpensive. And this is the end result. I think it came out so cute. Okay, moving on. So I took this Dollar Tree um, little car sign and this little bat from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using the same Apple Barrel black paint and I'm going to start off by painting the little truck first. So I'm removing the little uh, leaf and the tags off the truck right now. So I'm using the same black paint from Apple Barrel, and I'm just going to paint the black as uh, the black, the bat as well. Um, unfortunately, it's hard to get into the little crevices inside, so I did the best I could. So now I'm going to take some uh, Waverly chalk paint and plaster and silver lining gray, and I'm just going to apply some of that mixture on top of the truck.
Now I'm going to take some baby wipes and I'm just going to wipe off that um, silver lining and plaster color paint and it shows the black underneath. It just gives it a different type of texture look. I'm trying to make it look as spooky as possible. <laughs> and that's what it looks like once you take the um, baby wipes to it. Now I'm taking the black paint and I'm just going to create the little tires in the back of the truck. And then I'm taking my paint marker and I'm going to outline the bumper area along with the plate. Now I'm using plaster uh, chalk paint and I'm just going to outline the bumper area in that color. So I'm just using some black, or not black, white <laughs> plaster chalk paint and I'm just going to create like little white tire marks in the back on top of the black tires. I also use my Cricut and I came out with a, a vinyl stain. Uh, Batmobile. Very fitting, don't you think? <laughs> I'm applying the uh, vinyl wording in the back of the plate of the little truck. Um, I made that little square area to make it look like a license plate. So that's his license plate number. It's called Batmobile. So this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, I'm using a new phone and I don't know why the words are reversed, but I got to figure it out. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm taking this uh, pretty pink color paint and I'm going to paint um, the inside of the white walls because I decided to go pink because I think I'm going to turn him into a her. So I also decided I wanted to make a pink polka dots on the back of the bumper. So I'm taking the same pretty pink color and taking the um, opposite end of my paintbrush and just creating little, little pink dots. I'm taking these little diamond jewels I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take two of them off and I'm going to apply inside the bat's eyes because we're going to make him look cute and sparkly. I had to use a little bit of hot glue just to make sure they stayed in place. And that's what they look like. They're so cute. <laughs> Now I'm taking these little pink uh, foam flowers I got from Michaels and I'm just going to hot glue it around the little uh, license plate area. Um, and then I'm taking my white chalk marker that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just I'm going to write out the words eek a couple times. I'm not sure what a bat sounds like so I just put the word eek. And now I am uh, applying a little bit of um, those jewels on the side of the license plate to give it a little sparkle. Now I'm going to hot glue the little bat's feet down to the uh, truck area at the top. It actually has like, his feet are angled to uh, grab the top, if you could see it right there. Um, and that is what it looks like once it's finished. I think it's adorable and she came out really cute. And now I'm going to add some twine to the top where the um, actual holes were and just create a little hanger for it. And this is what it looks like when it's completed. I think it's really cute. Okay, for this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree. I call them shadow boxes. They're actually banks. They have like a slot at the top. 
Um, and then I took the Apple Barrel Black paint and this little spider web mesh from Dollar Tree and this little spider from Dollar Tree as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back of the shadow box apart and I'm going to paint it black. I'm also going to be using this creepy cloth that I got from Party City and some tacky glue. I'm going to apply this mesh over the back of the shadow box by applying the tacky glue first and then putting the mesh over the top. I'm just cutting off the mesh that's hanging over the sides right now. Now I'm going to take a piece of this spider web cloth. I'm just going to cut a little piece out and I'm going to hot glue it inside the little shadow box. Now I'm going to take these little fairy lights and um, I thought I was going to actually hot glue it inside, but it turns out I can't do it. So I had to string it through the top little slot was and just start like gluing a little bit inside and then I glued the battery pack in the back of the frame. Now I'm taking the spider and putting a little glue on its little feet and then I'm going to apply it to the back of the frame where the little spider web mesh is. So I'm just making sure that the fairy lights are going to stay inside the shadow box and then once they are secure I'm going to put the back back on the shadow box. Now I'm applying some hot glue to the battery pack to the back of the shadow box. And this is a sneak peek of what it looks like. It came out so cute. It looks like one of those tarantulas. <laughs> Okay, last DIY guys. I took this Dollar Tree bird and these two little waste baskets from Dollar Tree and some of this, I don't know, fluffy feather black stuff from Dollar Tree as well and a little um, wood stick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to take the little wood stick because I'm going to make a perch for the bird and um, hot glue it to the sides of the bars. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to take the bird. I'm going to take those little feather, black feathers, and I'm going to start gluing a little bit around the bird to make it look like he was losing his feathers because he was in the cage forever. Now that he's all covered with his little feathers, I'm going to take the hot glue to his feet and I'm going to place him back on his perch. To make him stay on his perch, I had to actually hot glue a little portion of his little back tail. Okay, so make this look realistic, I'm taking some of the little black feathers and I'm going to place a little glue at the bottom of the cage to make it look like his feathers came off and they fell to the bottom of the cage. Now I'm going to use these pipe cleaners and I'm going to place the top of the wastebasket on top and I'm going to use the pipe cleaners to tie off the ends all around the little bird cage. hot glue to the little pipe cleaners at the top just to reassure that they won't move. Dry, I just cut off the 
uh, remaining pipe cleaners on the cage. So I took this plant hanger from Dollar Tree and just gonna clip it to the top so this way I can hang it and show it off for Halloween. And this is the end results. I think it's cute and spooky at the same time. What do you guys think? Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. And I do appreciate everybody's support. I'm so heartfelt with everybody's comments. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, I will see you next time, guys. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.